She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside EO Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. Alba Fire has declared that her spiritual alchemy is complete and she is ready for battle. And she's ready to unleash catastrophic outcomes on the entire women's division. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the Women's Triple Crown. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. The crowd is on their feet for the Empress of Tomorrow. Charismatic, cunning, and commanding. A superstar in every sense of the word. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Well, many would say Asuka had one of the best women's matches in WrestleMania history against the Queen, Charlotte Flair. I'd agree with that point, Saxon, but it still eats at Asuka that her undefeated streak ended that night. Yeah, so guess what? Tonight, she can take out her WrestleMania frustrations in over 914 days without a loss in NXT and WWE. Absolutely unfazed. She just knows how dangerous she is. She is not someone to ever take lightly, and she plans to prove that again tonight. See the same Bailey who used to write school papers about her dreams in this moment. That's because this Bailey inspires a generation. She is the epitome of ambition, a true role model.
Like her or not, you cannot deny her skill and contributions to this division. That's true, Corey, because I can't stand her. Make way for the man. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch went from the pre-show at WrestleMania 34 to winning the main event of WrestleMania a year later. Won both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship that night on the grandest stage. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. The man is here. Becky Lynch never backs down from a fight and as a result has earned everyone's respect. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch looking to put the man in WrestleMania. And she won the first ever women's WrestleMania main event, capturing both the Raw and SmackDown titles that night. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. Here comes a pure wrecking machine. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has had so many high profile matches here in WWE, including the first women's tag team title WrestleMania match. I'm just hoping we get to see a glam slam on the grandest stage of them all. A dominant champion, the youngest WWE Hall of Famer in history, and the Glamazon isn't done yet. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. And their opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. When it comes to WrestleMania, Bianca truly is the EST. Her very first WrestleMania, she competed in the main event and won the SmackDown Women's Championship. And had a heck of a follow-up the next year, defeating the man Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title. Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing. Oh, we are about to see a fight. Courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. Oscar! 
Well, many would say Asuka had one of the best women's matches in WrestleMania history against the Queen, Charlotte Flair. I'd agree with that point, Saxon, but it still eats at Asuka that her undefeated streak ended that night. Yeah, so guess what? Tonight she can take out her WrestleMania frustrations. In over 914 days without a loss in NXT and WWE. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! When it comes to WrestleMania, Bianca truly is the EST. Her very first WrestleMania, she competed in the main event and won the SmackDown Women's Championship. And had a heck of a follow-up the next year, defeating the man, Becky Lynch, for the Raw Women's title. The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. Well, here comes a can't miss rookie. Here comes Bianca Belair. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. An athlete with a track and field background who's already earned multiple weightlifting records at the Performance Center. Yeah, she's already proven she's the fastest and the strongest. And tonight, she's ready to prove that she's the best. So many attributes that Bianca Belair has. Power, speed, charisma. I agree with you, Saxton, but the question is, can Bianca put it all together? She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. see the same Bailey who used to write school papers about her dreams in this moment. That's because this Bailey inspires a generation. She is the epitome of ambition, a true role model. See if she'll rely on her skill or shortcuts tonight. Oh, Cole, you are going to get such a scolding tonight. Blair Davenport, a young woman who won't let any competitor get in her way, and she does whatever she wants to do. A world travel competitor looking to make her mark in WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, Blair Davenport has said that she's not here to impress anyone but herself. Well, she might not want to hear this then, but she's been impressive thus far. Blair 
Davenport, a very sinister mind and amazing in-ring skills. Now, Michael, a truly merciless competitor who is out to hurt anyone who stands across from her. Well, if that's what it takes, then so be it. The Poison Pixie has returned. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. A win here tonight will reestablish LeRae. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Oh, boy, guys. She is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! WrestleMania has just become untouchable. I'll give Carmella credit. She has quite the WrestleMania history. Even competed in the first ever SmackDown Women's Championship match at WrestleMania. Keep going, Saxton. And okay, also won the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal in 2019. Corey, you happy? Some, no. some might even say she's the most beautiful woman in all of WrestleMania. Some, some might say that. Say it, Cole. Just say it. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And their opponent from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, I think we can all make a very strong argument that Charlotte Flair is Miss WrestleMania. A title the Queen has earned from breaking Asuka's streak to the first ever women's main event, winning the NXT title. There's nothing the Queen can't do on the grandest stage of them all. What a presence. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. Eight superstars loaded into the ring, and this match is now underway. I'm a little concerned about the ring. All hail the Queen. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Make your way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte has spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. It's about time I heard you pay the Queen her proper respect, Saxton. Listen, it was Charlotte who only took a couple months after her debut to win her first championship here in WWE, and Charlotte hasn't looked back since. of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte oh Flair. Charlotte has spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. It's about time I heard you pay the queen her proper respect, Saxton. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Won many major titles from independent promotions, but now is one of the top names in WWE. Uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too. Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. One of the most intimidating women of all time. And from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world. success at Wrestlemania. Remember, Byron, she won the Women's Championship here. Yeah, Wrestlemania, the only stage worthy of the legendary China. She's held both the Intercontinental and Women's Championships in WWE. And tonight, China looks to add to her legacy. Cora Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. And she's always ready to pick a big fight. see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough.
Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A Dusty Rhodes classic winner who has had multiple tag team reigns, but Dakota Kai is not to be trusted. There are plenty of tag team accolades to Dakota Kai's name, but now she's taken aim at becoming a singles success. Yeah, she is more than ready to captain her own ship. She is one of the best to ever do it in the women's and division. From Denver, Colorado, Eve Torres. Eve Torres, the first ever three-time Divas Champion, ready for even more gold. A tremendous competitor, Diva Search winner, multi-time women's champion. Yeah, Torres is a woman to watch out for, but we also know she won't hesitate to manipulate the rule book. Look, Eve knows when to work hard and when to work smart. Here comes an in-your-face superstar, Fallon Henley. And their opponent from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. Fallon's been a huge disruptor in the women's division for the simple fact that she won't be intimidated. There's nothing mysterious about Fallon Henley. Tons of attitude, and she comes at you full force. One of Fallon's favorite hobbies is to call people out. It's going to get rough around here. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. Dolan competed in some of the top independent promotions, earning some of the biggest women's titles outside of WWE. And since then has held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship on multiple occasions. Oh, Trained from a young age, she is hungry to show off what she can do. Looks at the whole women's division and says, bring it on. is here. Quite the impressive young talent. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell! Indy Hartwell is all had reigns with the NXT Tag Titles and the NXT Women's Championship. Truly battle-tested. She's ready to continue that success on the main roster. Would you say, Cole, that she's impressive?
Behold the modern day witch. Uh, that dawn gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. Don't let all the theatrics distract you from the fact that Isla Dawn is as vicious as they come. Cole, expect no mercy from Dawn in this one. Pound for pound, one of the strongest superstars in the women's division. And representing the Creed Brothers. From Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. Ivy Nile doesn't lift weights. Ivy Nile lifts the whole gym. Nile never stops training, never stops working. She's always improving on herself. One of the most dangerous competitors the women's division has ever seen. EO Sky. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky. EO becomes more vengeful, more vicious as each opponent suffers her wrath. Well, this is the EO Sky era, and you must understand EO will do whatever she deems necessary to maintain her position as a champion and main event competitor in WWE. EO is one of the premier aerialists in the game today. A former Miss Money in the Bank who knows all about gold. EO's held the women's singles and tag team championships in NXT and WWE. Here comes a real menace in the women's division, J.C. Jane. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. J.C. is willing to do what's necessary and ready to be savage if she has to. If she has to, she's usually in a hurry to hurt the competition. so accomplished I can't wait to see what JC does next well you won't have to wait much longer Cole the one woman highlight reel and from Glen Ridge New Jersey Such a pleasant sight to see Katana Chance. She's always in a fun-loving, good mood. 
Yeah, a very high-spirited competitor as well. But once the bell rings, Katana needs to get serious. But don't let the big smile fool you. Katana is highly skilled inside the ring and in the air. You know what, guys? I'd be hard-pressed to name a woman with a brighter future, in my opinion, here in WWE. She's proven herself not just as a capable singles competitor, but also a tag team competitor as well. A highly impressive aerialist, Caden Carter. This is going to be good. And their opponent from the Philippines, Caden Carter. Caden Carter, a former collegiate basketball star, has been doing big things since coming to WWE. Yeah, it's that athletic mindset that has made her such a fierce competitor. Indeed, I believe a highlight real performance is in order tonight. The High Flying Hall of Famer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! A true fearless daredevil, the Hall of Famer herself, Lita. Haley, a couple of women have held the original women's championship more than Lita. And Lita can still compete at a level to overtake them, I guarantee you. to say, watch me. Well, she's about to get what she wants because tonight it's all eyes on her. Indeed, we're going to watch Liv and see what she's capable of here tonight. She looks fired up. Everyone stand in admiration because here comes one of the most magnificent women and on earth. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Maurice had one of the longest championship reigns of all time. An A-lister in her own right. Why does Maurice always feel it's necessary to inform the world that they're not allowed in her personal space? Because Maurice feels necessary to inform the entire world that they're not as good as she is. There's a humble attitude. It's a sad facts of life, Saxton. She is the embodiment of beauty and grace, and a tough competitor to boot. Here comes the talented Maxine Dupree. Uh, Michael, it's pronounced Dupree. And representing the Alpha Academy from Phoenix, Arizona, Maxine Dupree. A woman who joined WWE in search of the top modeling talent, but is now competing alongside the Alpha Academy. Well, once you find a model like Otis, you really can't get any better. 
I'll have to take your word for it, Saxton. Please do. Every time Maxine competes, she seems to pull an amazing new trick out of her bag. That's the Academy of Training at work, Cole. You are looking at their newest star student. She is ready to get in the competition's face. Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does. Never afraid to do something crazy. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chin! And Mi Chin really knows how to take care of a problem inside the squared circle. Yeah, the HBIC is looking to neutralize the competition tonight and won't back down until she gets business done. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. It's Mighty Molly. And from parts unknown, Mighty Molly. I always thought the women's division needed a superhero. Don't forget, almost a superhero. Molly is fully a superhero. Molly FSH. Yeah, yeah, I dig that. FSH. Hey guys, she even has super hearing. Watch this. Hi, Molly. Uh, uh, she must be eavesdropping on evil donors. Uh, she'll say hi later. Yeah, that's it. I bet she will. A Hall of Famer and one of the trailblazers in the women's division. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. You have to admire the guts of a woman who put her hair on the line at WrestleMania. Well, I'm sure Molly Holly loves being back at WrestleMania, but probably also loves the fact that she won't have to worry about getting shaved bald. One of the greatest women to ever step in the ring, Natalia. And their opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Well, Natalia represents a dynasty of sports entertainment. Natalia out here representing WrestleMania royalty. That's right, her father competed at WrestleMania II, and she has continued that legacy. We've seen Natalya compete for singles and tag titles at WrestleMania, so she is definitely poised to handle the pressure. Natalya is looking to show the women's division exactly why she runs things around here. A win tonight can certainly help her in that mission. Ladies and gentlemen, Get ready for some chaos. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Multiple tag titles, a Money in the Bank winner, a women's championship reign. There is a definite method to the madness of Nikki. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness.
here and ready to roar. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nakita Lions! Built like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly an aerodynamic tank. A dominant force in the women's division. Absolute sheer aggression. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven. No nonsense, no more gimmicks, just Piper Niven. And all she wants to do is drop the competition. <laughs> that was decent, Corey. I have my moments. Piper Niven looking to make a name for herself tonight. Six feet of raw power. Raquel seems to always wear a big smile, just loves to perform for the crowd. Yeah, but if you get on her bad side and that smile vanishes, you are faced with an angry woman with muscles for days. Look at her physique. Look at the size of her back. Well, Raquel Rodriguez also has a great personality, even though every time I ask, she won't share her workout tips with me. That's okay, Saxton. You couldn't survive Raquel's warm-up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mommy's home. Here comes Rhea Ripley. WrestleMania. Feels like yesterday that Rhea Ripley made her WrestleMania debut, becoming the first superstar to defend their NXT Championship at the Showcase of Immortals. That night, she did so against Charlotte Flair. Well, how about WrestleMania 37 when Ripley called her shot, challenged Asuka, and defeated the Empress for the Raw Women's title? I'm sure there are many more WrestleMania moments in store for the career of Rhea Ripley. And Ripley is ready for battle. A talented rookie. And from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Ripley. 
Rhea has all the potential in the world. Well, I agree, Saxton, but I still think she needs to find her brutal side. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. The baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. She is the one they have called the future of the women's division. From Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Booker T. And he has said on numerous occasions that he sees endless potential in Perez. Potential is great, but she needs to tap into that killer instinct that Booker had. That edge keeps you on top. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. At WrestleMania, Rhea Ripley's brutality goes to another level. The Nightmare is an even more ferocious competitor at the Showcase of the Immortals. And how about her vindicating win at WrestleMania 39, where she finally earned a victory against Charlotte Flair? A moment that many thought was the night's true main event. Certainly was a main event level victory for Ripley, cementing herself as a WrestleMania threat. Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. There is a chill in the air whenever Scarlet enters a room. The coldness defines her as a superstar. Already playing serious mind games with the women's roster. Wicked, dangerous intentions on the mind of Scarlet.
If looks could kill. I don't think I even need to finish my sentence, gentlemen. Here comes the submission magician. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. There aren't too many people walking the earth who wouldn't be shaken by the lights and fanfare of WrestleMania. But to Shayna Baszler, there's no effect. This is just another night at the office. Oh, she approaches every opponent with the same aggression no matter the stage. Listen, she took Becky Lynch to the limit in her WrestleMania debut. She defended the tag team title successfully a year later. How do you stop the submission magician on the grand stage of WrestleMania? Here comes Shotzi and the TCB tank taking care of business. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Well, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. Put your hair up and square up. And... From Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonya Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonya is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, yeah, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. A dancer, a manager, a certified superstar. She's done it all. And from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy King. Not only are her looks exquisite, her kicks are lethal. Legitimate athleticism. Always put smiles on the faces of the WWE Universe. 
Yeah, Cole, but I can guarantee her opponent won't be smiling tonight. Saxton, speaking of, can you quit grinning? You look foolish. I can't help it, Corey. Well, the queen of the boardroom, none other than Stephanie. And representing the authority from British Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Here she is, the one true architect of the women's evolution. Well, if Stephanie McMahon doesn't feel like she's earned the respect of the superstars around her, there's one guarantee, she'll beat the respect out of them. A true quality of a great leader. It goes without saying, this is a woman you do not want to upset. Yeah, she'll either fire you or slap you, and both absolutely suck. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And their opponent from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina making her own history. Indeed, Tamina making history alongside Natalia, becoming the first competitors to compete in matches on two consecutive nights at WrestleMania. A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here comes the heart of Chase U. And representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the uh, Hell. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hell wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. Stratton, one of the quickest learners in NXT history. She made her NXT debut within weeks of entering the Performance Center, becoming NXT Women's Champion just a year and a half later. Already possessing athleticism on another level, Stratton takes every opportunity to get better. 
scary how impressive she is as an in-ring competitor this early in her career. WWE is about to get some stratisfaction. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. She took part in the groundbreaking first ever women's main event on Monday Night Raw. Every woman in the locker room that watched that match when they were a kid should have three simple words for Ms. Stratus. Thank you, Trish. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. Sound the war horns. Here comes Valhalla. And representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla. Valhalla considers herself the ultimate hunter. And the women's division is her prey. Stalks her prey and strikes with ferocity. Every win is a trophy kill for her. She wants to see the sports entertainment world burn. And she may very well do that, but punishing the competition will have to do for now. The whimsical Wendy Chu. When Wendy Chu gets pushed, oh, she'll bring it. And I don't mean the pillow. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Wendy Chu, always dressed for comfort, but more than ready for a fight. And you definitely don't want to get run over by the Wendy Chu Chu train. Yes, I do. A real train. Hey, hey, look alive, look alert out there. Hey, you can't underestimate the Wendy Choo Choo train. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. Here comes danger in a small package. Focused, determined, and dangerous. Yeah, and just looking for her moment to strike and shine in this division. And from Chongqing, China, Zia a standout competitor in the first two May Young Classic tournaments, but has evolved to an even more sinister and mysterious competitor. Despite her darkness, Lee still seeks to provide justice in WWE. Zia Lee is ready for the women's division and the WWE Universe to take notice of her hard work and skill.
the consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. And their opponent, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! You know, Zoe Stark just oozes with confidence. She knows exactly how good she is. And that's because Zoe refuses to conform to anybody else's ideas of what she is supposed to be. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. The gods have spoken. And only she knows what they have to say. And representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla! A physical presence who has tapped into something feral and otherworldly. Valhalla believes she is doing the God's bidding and won't stop until she succeeds. Born in the woods, raised in the mud, and now commanding the seas alongside the Viking Raiders. Takes her name from the place warriors go when they die. A bad sign for Valhalla's opposition. This ring is about to turn into a battlefield. And Valhalla won't settle for anything short of total decimation.